Hey Fly Tires, Darren here again, back with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I've got a guest tire. His name's Dave Stewart, and he comes from the YouTube channel and website Wet Fly Swing. So today he's going to be tying a Frank Amato pattern called the Night Dancer. This is a nice classic steelhead pattern. A nice dark fly, great for summer runs on rivers such as the Deschutes. I'd also like to draw your attention to a challenge that Dave's posted. He's got a 30-day fly tying challenge for those who are interested. I'll put a link in the description. And I'd, I've uh, joined as well, so we can be accountability partners and get some flies tied every day for the next 30 days. If you sign up, you'll get instructions on when and where. And... I guess he's also going to be including some fly tying tips in there. So let's have a look at the material list and get started. Hey everyone, this is Dave from wetflyswing.com and today I'm going to show you how to do a night dancer. This uh, is a nice classic uh, summer steelhead pattern and um, I'm going to get started here and show you what, we're, uh, what we got going today. We're going to be using a Dairiki size uh, 8, number 899. And the key here on the sizing is uh, small, um, small and sparse is kind of what we're going for here. So we're going to tie on start it back kind of the bend here but just past the point so you can kind of go down to this area right here we'll start off with the tail and we're just going to grab a any any red uh, for the tail will work i'm going to strip off a little bit here about like that tie that in and the tail you can see the length there it's not quite the body length not quite half the body length, but somewhere in that area. I'll tie that in, and then we're going to go with some um, oval tinsel, and this is a uh, small, uh, the smaller stuff, but medium uh, can work depending on the size of the fly you're using. And then I'm going to wrap up all the way up to the front. And here on the body, I'm going to use some um, I'm going to use some uh, yarn. And the yarn comes in four strands, and what I did was just pulled off one of the strands. So I'm using kind of a, a thin little, thin little noodle. And uh, the nice thing about this is if you start at the front and then wrap back and then kind of double up, it allows you to kind of control the size. And this one's going to be nice and even and small. You can see I'm going up. You don't have to do it this way. It takes a little bit longer, but I really like the way it turns out. All those little um, fibers are all good. We got caught there a little bit. Go up, come around, and you can see how thin it is. And you'll have a little bit more bulk when I come up to this front. And that's all right because I'm gonna make it Just like that. Just gonna go to the front right there. And then the sewer is going to come around, do like four or five wraps of this stuff. Four or more. If you're using a little bit thicker, you probably only get three or four wraps. But for this fly, this works out great. I'm going to cut that off and that wrap over that little tinsel tag that always sticks out there and get in position. So you can see this pretty straightforward fly, but the colors and the combo is, is really what makes it and we're going to go with a little bit of this purple hackle and just get a size that's about right I don't mind making these a little bit longer because uh, I like to have it kind of you know sparse but a little bit webby and, and longer so I'm going to just start wrapping this and you can see just kind of one I'll pull back and get one more you know if you're using a really webby hackle you might only do a rat one turn with this one a couple it just depends on the hackle you use, but you can see the color. And this this hackle is actually a little bit darker than the original 
fly we were looking at, but I, I kind of like both. I guess if you want to go dark as a follow-up fly, which this is actually a pretty sweet follow-up fly, I think the darker purple is better. Um, and also I'm going to throw in a little bit of uh, crystal flash here. You don't need much of this. I usually just like to grab like a half a dozen strands, um, sometimes even less. Um, but if you're doing a follow-up fly, you might not even put the crystal flash in. And I guess technically I don't think the fly had flash. Um, Franco Motto is the one who uh, invented this one. Um, and so, um, you know, I think there's lots of obviously variations where you can do it. And do this one, but I'm just going to cut off a little bit of calf tail now for the wing and this is your standard hair wing but on this one again I'm just doing very very sparse, like kind of flicking out the little little fuzzies and getting the right size I'll, I usually like to pick so I get just right put this on top just like this tight around there you go Get that on top, and then I'll just come up and cut that off. Then I'll finish up the head here. Right about there, do our whip finish. There you go. And that is the Night Dancer. Like I said, this is a really classic pattern. Um, for summer steelhead, but you can see the color combinations and the way that thing looks in the water. This thing is a great pattern for, you know, you can fish it bigger and bulkier, and obviously purple black, um, you know, and all that is, is a good combo. I like to, when I'm doing this too, add a little bit of my uh, head cement and just touch the, um, just on the wing to secure it a little bit, right up here, just so that kind of get that gets glued in, and I go around the fly. Um, but that's it. That's the Night Dancer. I'm um, glad you guys uh, hung around with me here. And uh, if you want to check it out, uh, any other flies I have, go to wetflyswing.com. And I wanted to thank uh, Darren for allowing me the chance to, uh, to post this and, and to meet you guys. So uh, please stop on and say hi and let me know what you think. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, Fly Tires. Thanks for stopping by and watching my fly tying videos. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get notified on the latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button and post a comment below. If you'd like to support the content on the channel and get rewarded, you can visit my Patreon page. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.